So the other day I was watching Skilltrains.com's new Atro Scale Tier 4 Jivo demonstration video when I heard something funny in the clip. Did you hear it? I will rewind the video so that you can listen to it again. So the ESU sound file for the GVOs have this really nice uh, prototypical automatic e-bell function that's tied to the horn circuit. But the automatic bell sounds actually overlap with the regular bell sound, and that's causing a double bell echo effect, which does not sound nice at all. The ESU full throttle GVO sound files that's available for download at ESU's website have the same problem. So here's the same problem uh, replicated on my inner mountain ES44 AC that has been upgraded to full throttle. What is happening is that the auto bell sound is treated as a third separate sound in addition to the regular bell and horn. And when you press F2 on your controller while F1 is already active, the auto bell sound will overlap with the regular bell sound. We are going to eliminate the overlapping bell sound by changing the function mapping of the decoder. First, we are going to modify the auto bell to be active only when F1 is off and F2 is pressed. So we're going to add a condition of not F1 into the parameters of function 2. This ensures that the auto bell is only played when the regular bell is not active. And the second thing we're going to do is to add a second condition for when the F1 is active and you press F2, then the auto bell sound should not be played to avoid the overlapping sounds. Set a new condition as F1, F2, and add the grade crossing as the logical function, then the horn by itself as the sound function. After these two modifications, click on the programmer button and write changes to decoder. If you don't have a low programmer, then use your DCC systems program track to write the following CVs in order. These steps should work for the ESU, uh, ESU part number 73423, General Electric GVO 12 full throttle, and also the ESU part number 75415, GVO 12 V2 full throttle sound files. The Skeletrains.com tier 4 GVOs have not been released yet, and they are coming out later in the summer. I don't know if Skeletrains will fix this issue by themselves before their locomotive is released, but in the event that they don't fix this problem, the method of fixing it should technically be the same. Here is a test run of the functions after the modification. As you can hear, the overlapping auto e-bell issue has been eliminated. This is not a perfect fix for the automatic e-bell function, but I think it works pretty well for me. I hope this video is useful for those of you who have Intermountain GVOs that have been upgraded to full throttle. And if you are happening to watch this in the future, and you have a Scale Trains Tier 4, then you can probably use the same method to fix the issue if it hasn't already been fixed by skill trains themselves. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.